If you watched our first Bangkok food tour, you know we found some great eats. This is so good! But Bangkok is a foodie's paradise. So we decided to make part two. Wait, we gotta get in here because I'm gonna eat it all. It's both a redemption story and one of discovery. What's this? I don't remember how to eat it. Whoa! I've been waiting for this moment for so long. So grab some snacks and don't watch this on an empty stomach. It's 5.13 a.m. We have a grab on our way, on its way. And we're going to a bucket list experience. One of the only reasons I would ever wake up at this time. All right, let's go. Good morning. J5, baby. So it's 5.30. When we were on our way over here, I had no idea if we'd be first, second, third, or 10th in line. Or first, which is great, because we've tried to come here twice before. First time, it was closed unexpectedly. Oh, uh, is sick. Oh. Okay, sorry. Thank you, sorry to hear that. And the second time we came on a Saturday afternoon. Wait list is full. Oh no. I was definitely expecting a wait, but I was expecting to like stand out here for like three hours, not get a no. So as long as she opens today, we should get in. Fortunately, there's a 7-Eleven right across the street and I think we're gonna get some coffee. I get two hot lattes. Hot Fucking crab. Hi kitty. I know, sorry. We also sit and we wait. 6.30 and our first line buddy has arrived. Hey, we've been here three hours already, if you can believe that. It's gone by so fast. I'm reading a murder mystery book and I'm so into it. I almost am not ready to eat. <laughs> but we're first on the list. The line is super long now. I don't know when they will cut it off, but it's 8.30, so they're not even open for another 30 minutes still. So. The crowd's getting rowdy. Five minutes. Two people, right? Yes, please. We're so close to J5, is that okay? Yeah. Think she'll smile at me? No. <laughs> but I think because we were number one, we got the table closest to J5, so we can like watch her just cook and work her magic. That was a very unexpected bonus that I'm extremely excited about. Thank you okay, so much. Thank you. Definitely I got first order. I really wasn't ready, but I just panicked and ordered. Oh my god, you smell that? This crab omelet is like the most famous thing that she makes here. It's like a pound of crab, I'm pretty sure, with just fried egg on the outside. We love Thai omelets already, and this smells Oh, it's so crispy. Oh my god. It's literally amazing. It's so like rich and velvety. I love crab meat and it is just so fresh. I literally feel so honored to be eating her food right now. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I can't believe we're here. Okay, but honestly, how often can you say that you ate at a Michelin starred restaurant where the chef responsible for that Michelin star actually made the meal that you're eating? I don't think you can say that too often. It's seriously, it's the size of a burrito. It's enormous. That is insane. So crispy on the outside. Crab is like so meaty. Like typically with a crab dish, it's like very little crab. Not the case here. It's like all crab. Wow. Holy oh my God. gosh. Thank you. Wow. It's happening so fast. Oh my God. This smells divine. Oh my God. Wow. I just can't help myself with like a wonton or gyoza or dumplings. I just love them. So that's why I got this. This is wonton soup with minced pork inside the wonton and the biggest shrimp I've ever seen in my life also in this soup. Oh my God, this looks like a lobster tail. This is like a light broth with chives and what's that green stuff called? Um, bok choy. I think, I'm just gonna try the broth first, okay? <laughs> oh my God, that is like the best broth ever. <laughs> I can't even explain this. It's so good. It's like perfect. And it's like umami flavored. Nice and it's balance. warm. It's amazing. I love soup. All right, I'm gonna rip this giant wonton open. Seriously enormous. It's huge. Oh my God, look at all that pork. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is so much pork. I need to cut that in half. I can't even eat that. <laughs> oh my God. I've, I've, a wonton I've ever had. This is probably the most green, Alicia. 
think my heart rate is going up. I'm too excited. <laughs> the wonton wrapper is nice and thin, and it is straight just minced pork through and through, and it melts in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Papunka. It looks so good. <laughs> Okay, our third and final dish is the crispy noodles with egg and crab. And I didn't really know what that meant, but I'm not a huge fan of rice noodles. And that was like most everything else on the meal or on the menu. But I thought we'd try the crispy noodles, which is something I, I didn't even know what it is. I think it's glass noodles that are fried. So like fried noodles. The noodles are, almost taste a little sweet. Yeah, it does. And it's amazing. It literally is like the best thing ever. Like, what the heck? Where do you find shrimp like this that are this size? <laughs> That's so ridiculous. And I have a second bite of a shrimp. How often do you get a second bite of a shrimp? It's so tender. There's more in there. I know. Three bites. This is crazy. What else do I need to try? I'm ready. What's this? I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna eat it because everything she makes is good. Very chewy. It's one of those things like, I don't love it, but it's not because of the way she prepared it. It's just texture and flavor I don't know that it'd get acclimated to. Look at this, more crab. I swear, that crab literally tastes like it's been marinating in butter for like 10 years. So before we go, because this is not a restaurant that you come to sit and socialize at, because a lot of people want to eat here, the reason it was so important for us to eat here today and to get up at 5.30 and come here is because as it stands, J5 does not intend on passing her recipes down. So when the restaurant closes, it closes, and who knows when she's gonna retire, but I certainly don't want to read about it having not had tried the food. So this is very much a bucket list item for us, and it was awesome. I love it, you still get the handwritten receipt. Okay, it's cash only here, so I just ran across the street to the ATM to grab more money. It's not the cheapest street food that we'll be eating today, but it's worth it. Ugh, food coma. There were many benefits of getting here early, but I would say one is that when we waited, we waited when the weather was nice, it was cool out. A lot of people are going to wait today in like the dead heat of the day here in Thailand, which is hot. Hello! <laughs> Oh, no worries. <laughs> All right. Their grab driver was really cute. She took probably like 17 wrong turns. Fairly significant ones, but we didn't mind because it was air conditioned and we actually had time to digest our food. But we're at Wang Tang Market, which is a great market with some of the most diverse selection of snacks. So we're not here for anything in particular, just looking, smelling, and ordering whatever looks good. Oh, yeah. I love those. Yeah. Okay, I got the Thai apple cracker cookie things. They're so good. I had them at the lounge and I ate like platefuls of them. And I've never actually seen them. But I'm gonna eat them right now. Oh my gosh, like a little buttery crackers with this like jam in the middle. Mm. It's sweet, but it's so subtle. Such a great sound. I'm not even hungry. What are you getting? Lotus. Lotus? Yeah. All right. Oh, look at this. It's like a bouquet of flowers, oh, but it's lotus. I don't remember. I think we just eat these things, right? Mm. I don't remember how to eat it. Sorry. How do I eat it? Okay. <laughs> I can eat the green thing? No, this. Not the green thing. Yeah. Okay. Kapkunka. <laughs> Kapkunka. All right, we learned how to eat it. Everyone's laughing at us. <laughs> That's okay. Look, it's kind of fun though. It's like one of those little games where you just like pop them out. Okay, and then we peel it. It's hard. Mmm. And then you get into it. It's like kind of like a macadamia nut. That's what it tastes like. It's like a sweet nut, but there's something inside here that I have to break into. It's really soft. Like I can break, put my nails straight through it. You don't eat the green thing. Okay. And then you end up with all these different pieces. And you can eat these guys. Mmm. It's like super nutty. Good snack. It's like not sweet and it's not salty. It's like something in between, you know? All right. The only thing I can look at right now is dessert. I don't know what this is. Mochi with strawberry inside. Red bean? Sure. Yeah, red bean, please. Look what they have. What the heck? We're selling nachos. Okay, we got daifuku. Mm -hmm. Is it squishy? Yeah. I think it looks like mochi with a strawberry inside. It's cold. And we got the red bean flavor. It's sticky. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's super sticky. Mmm. Oh my god. 
Oh my God, strawberry is so good. I haven't had a berry in so long. It's really sticky though, and it's like really chewy. I know it's really stretchy. <laughs> and I don't, this is like all the red bean, I think. I think it's like this like mochi dough with the red bean paste and then a strawberry. It's like Thailand's version of a chocolate covered strawberry. You're gonna eat all that? Yep. This place has everything and it feels like a real like Thai market where you're just walking down this super narrow alleyway. There's a million people, but they have like sushi and desserts and all the traditional like Thai dishes, tons of like seafood and satay. Then there's even like clothes and household accessories. Like they have everything. <laughs> Sweaty car. Can we get just one? Oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Ten man. Thank you. Thank you, Lima. Thank you, Kapunka. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, look at that steam come off of that. Got grilled banana. Our grab driver is taking too long, so we're eating more. Oh, hot. That's so hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. It's like warm banana, but because it was on the grill, it has a little bit of smokiness to it. Perfect on its own, but I could always add peanut butter to anything with banana. It's very soft, too. so many times where we get out and someone else just gets right in. I know, it's crazy. Anywhere? Yeah. Back then? So I know what we're ordering in Thai, but not like Thai script. This only has the script and the English version, so I don't know what we're getting. <laughs> Can we get the Hoi Jab Nam Thai? I don't know what that is. Okay. Kapun <laughs> Ka. It works. Good, good job. Thanks. Nam Thai. Tom Yum. Okay. Wow, so fast. Wow, so fast. Whoa, it's like completely see-through. You can see my chopsticks. All right, we got tom yum noodles with glass rice noodles. Comes with pork and the broth that it's made in is made with pork bone. There's peanuts and peppers and chives in it as well. Mmm, like right away I get a very heavy peanut smell. I'm gonna try to eat this. This is, uh, this is once crunchy, but it's not anymore. Whoa broth is like so flavorful even just in that chip like yeah, soaked it up pretty quick there's a lot there's pepper in it too, I think. oh my gosh very delicious i like the mincemeat a lot the peanut flavor comes through quite a bit as does the pepper and i think there might be some chili flakes in there because it's quite spicy yeah it's spicy that goes right to the back of your throat mm, it's good though this broth is not clear broth it's like a really murky and like a very flavorful way look at all that like seasoning right there Look at that. Yeah. That's good. You ate all of it though. I did. Let's get another one. This is only 16 bucks. Oh my god. It's like 30 cents. Oh my god. So we really liked it. And since the price is re really right, we're gonna get a second dish. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I honestly really want these to be salty tortilla chips right now, but I know they're not. But I didn't get to try the crispy ones in the soup because Nate ate it. Mm. Yeah, it tastes different than I expected. Let me try to put my finger on it. It's almost like shrimpy. It tastes like the prawn chip. Really salty, nice and thin and crispy. I feel like I want to dip them in something though. What is wonton skin? They're traditionally made with flour, eggs, and water, and then these are fried in oil, so. Oh. It's pink. It's very pink. Wow, the noodles are so different. Yeah, look at that pink. It is like, actually pink. I wasn't really expecting that. And these noodles are so much bigger. I've never seen a dish like this. We got the yen taco, which is spicy pork noodles in pink sauce. It's pink because they put red bean paste in the broth, which it's usually in desserts. That's how we normally eat it, even though it's a bean. But this is in a noodle dish with pork. And these noodles are wide rolled rice noodles. So I think they're similar to the last noodles we had, but they look a lot different. It says spicy too on the menu, so <laughs> the last one did not. Mmm, mmm. I'm not getting the spicy at all. It's good. It's just like a, a simple broth with the red bean paste in it, and that's like the main flavor that you get. I love it. It sounds so weird because you're literally like eating mashed up beans, like refried beans, but it's a different kind of bean, and it's almost sweet. It's not super sweet. They usually they put it in some sort of like dough or like with strawberries or sugar, so it makes it like a nice balance. But here you just get the the red bean taste in a savory dish. So it's kind of like a new thing for me. 
It's really nice. Ooh, a little spice. It's really nice when you eat it with the wonton skin because the salt from the wonton skin kind of like cuts through that sweetness. Very like nice, the balanced bite. Well, good thing we got a whole bunch of wonton skins. Oh yeah, good, good point, we have a ton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really actually like the bite with the wonton skin a lot. It kind of solved two problems. I needed something to dip the wonton skin in, and I needed something to like cut through the sweetness and the pink sauce. Kapunka. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is that right? 67 baht, but not even $2. You ready? Yeah. Kapunka. I love it. I love Thailand so much. <laughs> Please, go away. Why? You're standing right in front of me. I can't see anything. <laughs> what do you want to see? The cars. Hello. So, yeah, about that traffic. Wow. We're moving. Thank you. Whew, that was a terrible time. Oh, they have Michelin star, or reviews. It's always happens. I tell Nate everything we're doing on the food tour. He's like, yeah, sounds great. Day of, he's like, hey, how about this other dish that we've never talked about? And I'm like, Oh okay, yeah, let me just look it up. And every time we get lucky. Last time, remember, we found the mama's noodle place. This time we found fried chicken with a Michelin 2023 sticker on the front. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So it works. It's, it's a good system for us. This is garlic. That's garlic. Fried garlic. Fried chicken is, it's pretty enormous in Thailand. In fact, McDonald's has it on their menu and KFC is widely popular. So when reading the reviews for this place, one of them said that the chicken is better than both McDonald's and KFC. So here that's actually saying something. One thing they do here that is, I don't know if it's common or less common, is they fry the whole chicken. So it's not like separate parts of the chicken, battered and fried, it's the whole chicken battered and fried. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Your oh lips good. Are literally like glistening. It's very fried. I think very greasy, but in a good way. It's fried chicken. The skin is not as crispy as I thought it was going to be, but it's delicious. It's the type of skin that I could literally just eat the skin without the chicken and I'd be just fine. Very garlicky. And the meat is, what do they say like in the US? Like finger licking good. <laughs> like, I love KFC. It's KFC's line, yeah. It's finger licking good. There's also a chili sauce. It looks spicy. Look at this white meat. That is good looking chicken. Mm. I'm good with that. Is it? It's hot though. This reminds me of sambal, which is like the side salsa that they kind of use in Indonesia on everything. But it's like a tomato or pepper based sauce. Kind of reminds me of like a chutney too. It's very spicy though. I want some french fries. I don't think that's appropriate though. <laughs> okay, the secret is get a piece with a little skin, some juicy meat, dip it in the sauce, and then dip it in the fried garlic so it sticks to it. Bomb. Mm. I can't believe we just discovered fried chicken in Thailand. This is our sixth time here. I'm like sad for myself and all the past opportunities I could have had fried chicken but didn't. Bring your own napkins. Oh my god, it's like a coat check. They have a coat check for this park, which it's not really a coat check because you don't ever, ever, ever need a coat in Bangkok, but you can just like check your bag so you can run around the park without all of your stuff. That is seriously so smart. Like every park should have that. Yeah. Look at all these people running. It, I know, it kind of looks like a race. <laughs> is it? <laughs> a great park. Lumfini Park, I think. I would like to stay near here next time. Thank you, Kapunga. <laughs> no, literally the first place I looked to see if they had banana pancakes. They had banana pancakes. Go see with banana. banana. Do you have peanut butter? Yeah. Do you have peanut butter? No. Okay, that's okay. Uh, even though we've eaten so much, I'm still hungry. Two bananas? Just kidding. One and a half bananas. Two bananas? Yeah, one and a half. Oh, look how golden brown that is. It looks like a taco supreme. Awesome, thank you. That looks bomb. It smells so good too. Look at that crisp. 
Roti is a really thin like bread that they put bananas in and condensed milk on top and it's just, it's so good. My mouth is like watering. Mmm, it's so good. It's so crispy this time. Usually we get peanut butter in it, but they didn't have peanut butter. But they have like Nutella and chocolate. And usually it's just like a slightly sweet, delicious dessert. All right, we better get in here because I'm gonna eat it all. All right, I already finished mine, damn it. You can have some. No, it's okay. I'm willing to share. No, because I don't want to share my honey toast. I don't want to share my honey toast? Yeah, this is like your dessert. Honey toast is like my dessert, and we each get half and half, and if I take more than my half of the banana, then you could potentially take more than half of the honey toast, and I just don't want that to be an option. Really thought this through. Well, it happened in like a second. Mmm, yeah. Mm. Give me some of that. Thailand taco supreme. Here, Uber driver. Here, grab, grab. I can't believe we had J5 today. We went home and napped. I changed shirts. That's it. <laughs> I know. You're <laughs> so mad. That's all it was. It was good enough. What was wrong with that? <laughs> He's just not talking. <laughs> I know. That was funny. <laughs> that was a good one on your part. Thank you.